This is the 2012 Range Rover Evoque. Surely no jaws are hitting the floor right now because you've probably seen it. It hit dealerships in July 2011. I'm a big fan of Range Rover. I even own one and we use it as our camera truck. In fact, here it is. And while my Range Rover has the classic boxy look, the Evoque is much more roundy. And as one girl pointed out on the street to me, a bit like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. This is the coupe version of the Evoque, and it bucks the trends of small SUVs of late. Time was when you went to go buy a coupe, it was essentially the same as the four-door version. It just had two huge doors instead of four regular size. But Range Rover has designed the coupe version differently. It's 1.2 inches shorter than the five-door version, and it might surprise you to learn, it costs more. One of the carryovers from the five-door to the coupe is the rear hatch which doesn't provide a lot of utility, but plenty of space for a single contemplative Buddha. The old rangey here has solid axles and a low range center differential, which makes it incredible off-road, but cosmically heavy at three tons. While the Evoque at 4,000 pounds might seem heavy, with a unibody construction, a first for Range Rover, it weighs a full ton less than its aging cousin. Range Rover interiors have always been great. The 2012 Evoque, however, is on par with what I would assume 2020 interiors will look like. Take this dash for example. I don't know what this material is or what it's supposed to be, but I love it. It looks like the hide of a manatee. Also accenting that is some textured aluminum that Range Rover calls unique. Illuminating the cabin is a standard and stunning panoramic roof. Excitingly, with the push of a button, the shifter knob gracefully rises from the center console. The base price for the Evoque is around $44,000. This one, however, has a price of $56,000. I guess manatees are harder to catch than they look. Under the hood is a 2-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder borrowed from Ford. Makes 240 horsepower and 251 pound-feet of torque. Made to that torquey little engine is a 6-speed automatic transmission. The Evoque will make a run from 0 to 60 in 7.1 seconds and onto a top speed 135. The engine is surprisingly peppy. As a person who grew up owning and loving many turbocharged cars, I've always been infatuated with the idea of a small, heavy-hitting motor. But if I'm perfectly honest, many turbochargers of old left something to be desired because they essentially had no power until the higher RPMs. This Ford-sourced Turbo 4, however, has all the power you'd want even at lower RPMs, and it's very, very smooth. In fact, I'd like to welcome you to Torxylvania. Whee! <laughs> the 2012 Evoque is available in a front-wheel drive-only setup if customers choose and is the first Range Rover ever to be offered like that. Range Rover calls it very eco-friendly. Thankfully, this one's been fitted with an electronic all-wheel drive system built by Haldex with four terrain settings. Normal, Snowflake, Tree, and Cactus. The Range Rover Evoque isn't really an SUV. I mean, I know it is on paper, but to me, it feels more like a tall, bulbous coupe. While I wouldn't want to show up to the Dakar and driving around here on these country roads is surprisingly fun, but the sharp handling and quick response from the accelerator will get you into trouble. The Evoque is honestly one of the best handling SUV crossover thingies I've ever driven. The Range Rovers that have come before the Evoque were built to be luxurious country trucks. And while the Evoque has been fitted with a terrain management system which will carry it over nearly any obstacle, it feels much more at home in an urban environment. Separating itself further from the Range Rover lineup, the Evoque has been rated to achieve 18 city and 28 highway. And while other Land Rovers have left their mark on the earth in more planet-warming ways, you can feel better about driving the Evoque, because it can't be so easily blamed for that global hotening we've been hearing so much about.